Hey fellow photographer, how's it going? Welcome to On Location Photography. My name is Michael Zelbe and here's what I've got for you today. You will see how to use one speed light to turn a rather boring fireplace into a spectacular stage for your model. Yeah, today our location is the warm and cozy fireplace in our living room. And the reason why we're here is uh, it's not because the weather outside in uh, good old Germany is cold and ugly. Uh, that is the case, but we are here because I heard one and the same story from various fellow photographers over and over again. And uh, it goes like this. They post a model in front of a nice open fire. Yeah, and in reality, the scene was spectacular, but on the photograph, on their results, the scene is rather dull, something is missing, uh, it's not so good. And what I believe is missing is actually this. Uh, think about it, if you're next to an open fire, then all of your senses are stimulated. You can feel the heat, you smell the burning wood, um, you hear the wood crackling, you see the light dancing, but Pretty much none of that can be transported in a photograph. Yeah, so to me the solution that I would use is to dial up the one and only element that I can transport in my photograph and that is the light emitted from the fire. Yeah, nothing else is in my photograph. So I will amplify this and make it a whole lot more punchy and stronger. And the way I'm doing that is um, a very good example for why my blog is named Smoking Strobes and why it's not named uh, Careful Speedlight Handling or something. Yeah. So first I'm going to make a nice uh, fire. I'm using small wood to get tall flames easily and um, it's mainly powered by burning gale because that is very easy to handle. And the fire is not only to uh, grill my model, which will pose uh, very close to it, it's also for grilling my speed light, which is placed right next to the fire. Yeah, not so close that it would catch fire, but uh, it's, it's quite close and it's shooting into the direction of the model. And it's our main light. It's in TTL Group A and attached to the speed light is a Lee 204 CTO filter to make the light from the speed light warmer. Let's have a look at the uh, diagram. So you got the fireplace over here, right next to it, the main light in uh, group A and in front of the, of the fire, the model. And uh, there's also a second speed light um, in uh, the back of the model. It's uh, roughly six feet away and shooting into her back for some delineation. And it's going through a shoot through umbrella, which well, at uh, that distance is not really efficient. I could have uh, left it away, but that's uh, not the important part. The uh, camera is coming from a 45 degree angle over here and uh, it's dialed to ISO 800 at F4 so that it can uh, record the fire still pretty bright at 125th of a second. Yeah, the white balance is set to daylight, so it will record the, the light from the fire pretty warm, yeah, which adds to the atmosphere. And uh, having a look at the TTL settings, A is our uh, main light, it's uh, coming from the right, and B is the kicker light from behind the model. And the ratio of A to B is 4 to 1. So A is really the dominant light source in this frame. Okay. So the basic technique over here is to amplify the natural light that is given. And we amplify it using a speed light firing from the direction of the natural light source. And this technique is, is not restricted to a fireplace. I mean, you can use it uh, to amplify light from, from a window or from candles or from a computer screen or even from inside a fridge. Lots and lots and lots of applications. So go ahead, try them out and yeah, let me know the results that you got. So that's it for today. I really hope you found it useful and uh, please let me know your opinion by commenting below and please check back next Thursday for another video. And until then, I wish you a lot of fun with your photo shoots and good light. <laughs>